When we started with the SMART project as a major tunneling project in 2002, we were assembling a machine in the same shaft back to back with Weiss and Freitag. They did the north drive and we did the south drive. And that was the birth of our tunneling capabilities in Gamuda. And we managed to build up a significant and internationally significant team during this process before we started this uh, line two, Putrajaya line work. I knew that this would be a very difficult drive. That's why we tried to, to bring in the best machines and as, as much as it was possible to best people to do the job. The fact that we are at the very end of the job uh, means that uh, we have succeeded in both fronts. The people we have uh, found in the company and, and uh, hired afterwards, they were willing to learn. Really to, to reach this level of tunneling capability is, is highly unusual. In most of the world, especially in smaller countries, you have one tunneling job and the next tunneling job will come, say, 15, 20 years later. So the people who learn the job, they either uh, go to other professions or the, the best ones generally get similar tunneling jobs overseas and then they don't come back. So the, the government of the day will have to provide opportunities. Otherwise, all this talent development will be for nothing. We have the knowledge, we have the people, we have to use it, and we can do the job. I have no doubt about it.